Hey viewers, my name's Kara. In this video, I want to introduce you to this book, this volume, the new Library of Esoterica Witchcraft. This is something that I borrowed from the Buckland Museum of Witchcraft and Magic. This is not my copy. In fact, by the time I am editing this, it is already back at the museum. But I went through it, I read some of the essays, and I took pictures of some of the things that I would like to share with you, just to give you a brief intro. I actually want to start by reading something that is at the end of the book, where they describe what the Library of Esoterica series is. I'm not going to read the whole thing, but I've just picked out a few of the paragraphs that really get into what this is for. So I want to share that with you for some context. The Library of Esoterica explores the expansive visual history of the arcane, showcasing artwork birthed through the expressions of a wide variety of traditions and rituals. The intent of this series is to offer inclusive introductory overviews to these ancient rituals and to explore their complex symbolism objectively rather than dogmatically. In doing so, the aspiration is to draw back the veil to reveal a deeper appreciation of these valuable tools of the psyche. The goal of this series is to present condensed summaries of these ancient systems and from there encourage readers to further explore the rituals, ceremonies, and sacred philosophies of various global cultures. The task is to inspire readers to seek out knowledge, to study the teachings of scholars past and present, who have dedicated themselves to the development and preservation of these ancient arts. The hope is that the Library of Esoterica emboldens readers to begin their own journey down into the dark halls of the arcane, to pull the dusty tomes from the shelves, to take the time-worn cards from the satchel and spread them across the silks, to look up to the sky and read meaning in the movement of the stars. So immediately when you open this book, there is a beautiful frontispiece that was done by Laura Tempest Zakroff. Love seeing this immediately. And then this volume is edited by Pam Grossman and Jessica Hundley. They have each written multiple essays for this work. One of my favorite things actually about this volume is the timeline that Jessica put together. I know that doesn't seem like the most exciting thing, but in terms of putting things in the context of the history, I really enjoyed this timeline. This is something that folks among my audience will really enjoy. And also how much beautiful art is in this. So it is a series of essays about various topics interspersed with art that fits that theme. So there are sections about history, about covens and circles, about magic. There is a whole section looking at the Wheel of the Year and the Eight Sabbaths. Also, each of the classical elements and multiple essays within those. There are also contributions from so many others, like the Buckland Museum of Witchcraft and Magic was part of this, as well as folks who have donated things to the museum or have been to the museum, some of whom I've met in person, like Naja Lightfoot, and some I have not, like Brie Luna, the Hood Witch, who visited the museum shortly after it opened. And of course, our magic circle painted on the floor was done by Jesse Bransford, and there are several other pieces of his work in this collection as well. There are also images of things that we have at the museum, photos of Raymond Buckland and others who worked with him, Rosemary, and so on, and things that have been on display at the museum in the past that were part of rotating exhibits. I obviously don't want to give away the entire book because it is going to be such a journey for anybody who decides to read through this and flip through it and see what's there, but I've just taken some photos of some of my favorite pieces or mostly the things that were by people who I know who I wanted to show off a bit. 
And there's a lot of names in here of people who I've gotten to know their work over the years or people who I've gotten to know personally as well, which is really cool. So this isn't so much a review as it is an introduction to show you all what this book is, give you a taste of it to see if it's something that you might like to look into because I had not personally heard of the Library of Esoterica before this point and I think I actually heard of it because of a few of the people I know who are involved in it, including the Buckland Museum. And so I just kind of wanted to introduce you all to it as well and say job well done to everybody who had a hand in putting this together. There is a list at the back of the contributors. The Buckland Museum of Witchcraft and Magic is on that list under the institutions that were involved with it, but there are also individuals listed separately. So yeah, this is not a very long video, but just a little introduction. And again, congratulations to everyone who was part of putting this together. It is a work of art in itself, and there is just so much here. This is a great thing, a great resource to have available in the world. Thank you all for watching and or listening to this brief video. I will see you next time, and until then, don't forget to be awesome, blessed be, and goodbye.